medio, medio, donde vamos de dos, donde vamos de dos. Oh my god. Hi there, my name is Tatiana, and this is my mom. She is joining me on my trip to Guatemala. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you would have seen her in my summer series where we road trip through northern BC. We get up to many adventures, seeing Salmon Glacier, Haida Gwaii, and that's where my band completely jumped bed. She's a hilarious character, and I'm so glad she's joining me on this trip. At 4 a.m., we load in a taxi and make our way to the Wavier Airport. So today was a bit more of a rigmarole to check in than I've had in a while. Nothing bad, but it was like, first of all, we went to United Airlines, but we were actually flying with a partnering airline. And then you, there was like, my, my, the my boarding passes were printed machines out Machines don't work, and, then, and then, you know, my, I had to, to reach in my bag, two or three different, bag, you know, scan and two bags, so it was like a little bit more and then nothing bad, nothing that was going to make us late. And now we're uh, getting a coffee and waiting, so. I would say we're off to a good start. I know the floor is gross, but I kind of am desperate right now. We have a six hour layover in Calgary before flying to Houston. It's sort of been perfect time to edit, but I actually have, I have nothing, I have nothing to edit. This is me making footage to edit. nothing bad so we'll be getting on and getting to Guatemala City probably around midnight definitely ready for bed my back is a little bit on fire but all in all it was a easy travel day no hiccups you know just like that small little conundrum there at the airport in Vancouver really 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 good day and I am like I'm so excited I am so excited to see what Guatemala has to offer that was still on the uh, arrival forms please and thank you so right out of the gate we got our sim card it was six bucks no, 30 bucks for, what is it, 10 gigs. So, not too bad, it's in the last month. And uh, now we're gonna go through customs, and then we're gonna figure out a way to get to our hotel, if they even let us check in because it's so late, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I have a mother that speaks Spanish, and I'm very lucky, so, here we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. See, that's what I thought. I'm like, I know it's really close, but I would be, I would be concerned to walk. So it's like a five minute drive from the airport to here and it cost us 10 US dollars when it maybe it should have cost us eight, but let's just say we included a tip in that. Um, also the local in the car was saying that, you know, at nighttime for locals to walk at nighttime, it's dangerous. So let alone two, you know, females with suitcases to walk at nighttime. So even though it was a five minute drive, I'm really, really glad we got a ride. Um, also, we're in our room now. It's very cute. It's very clean, and I'm so excited to have a shower. Mom, do you think there's going to be hot water? Yes, <laughs> there is. We've done trips to Peru and stuff, and it's a hit or miss. You never know what you're going to get, right? And so I think this is going to be the name of the game for every accommodation we go to. Will there be hot water, and will there be good water pressure? I'm about to find out. Later. Can confirm, excellent water pressure, very hot. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to bed because it is this time in the morning. And um, yeah, we are gonna try and catch the local chicken bus to Panahashel to our first accommodations tomorrow. Uh, we have no idea what to expect, so wish us luck. The next morning. I feel like Kara from Kara and Nate. She's always sitting on her bag. It wasn't as painful as I thought. 
yeah, so we were not frugal in the stuff that we brought, but we're treating this more like a vacation than a backpacking trip. We obviously could bring less. We have done trips with less, but this trip, we just didn't want to have to worry about anything, think about anything. We literally want to get to our hotel and do nothing. Not that we won't go out and have adventures and stuff, but we just, we wanted to treat it like a vacation. So that's why <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in there. We are just getting ready to go and find us this chicken bus. Now we've heard a lot about it. I've got a lot of information on it, but we still don't actually know where we're getting it. And I also don't know if our bags, what's gonna happen with the bag situation. So um, this is truly gonna be an adventure all in itself. Did you just fart? We booked an Uber that morning and within 15 minutes, we landed at the zone eight bus stop where we immediately were consumed by chaos. <laughs> We weren't on the bus even two minutes before vendors got on and tried to sell you things. Did they want to be nice? Two ladies, the one dressed in black with the beautiful eyes. I'll give it to him. That was a performance. Also, I've had to take the sound mic off the camera because I already bring a lot of attention. I just didn't want another reason to bring attention to myself, so I took the microphone off the camera. The sound quality on this is going to fluctuate, and I apologize in advance. Also, we just got on a random bus. I have no idea if we're actually going to get to where we need to go, but we've got all day. It's going to be an adventure, regardless wherever we end up. They wouldn't even let us know. They wouldn't let they, yeah, they wouldn't even let us stop to like look at the bus and ask around. So you know what? I'm a Spanish speaking mother. We get to a town we don't freaking know, we're just gonna ask. It's on another note, the chicken buses are really colorful and really fun. I wish we had more time to vlog it, but we really we, we literally got hustled onto this bus. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. We well yeah. Here's to the adventure, man. Bus number two, this is much better, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna have bruises on my arms from being squished against the metal and then he takes the corner so fast that you slam, you slam into the metal and it's like four or five different people are slamming into you. It is such, it's a hoot, it's an absolute riot, but my tailbone is on fire. Everyone's gonna be happy. Three buses and approximately four hours later, we were landing in Panahashal. A bus driver took our bags down, which surprisingly didn't fall off the bus, and pointed us in the direction we should go. Not long after, a tuk-tuk driver approached us. Not wanting to have to push the bags down the cobblestone streets, we hopped in. Absolutely dragging the bags down the cobblestone. It's been a good adventure. Do you agree? Little did we know our driver went the extra long route and charged us double than what we should have. We now know. And realistically, we were just so happy to be at the hotel. 
we finally made it to the hotel and it's perfect. Again, like I said, I'm sure you're treating this as like a vacation more than a backpacking trip. You know, you gotta give credit. My mom is 62 years old and she rode in that chicken bus like a champ. So let's just like give a, a small round of applause to her because like I was totally willing to pay $150 for like a private vehicle to drive us here, but she 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 was a champ and she wanted to she wanted to experience it. This is a really nice payoff. It's it's we got a phenomenal view. <laughs> the room is quite cozy and uh, I just wanted to give you a little look before we completely destroy it with our stuff. It's it's a nice hotel and it's 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 really nice to be able to come here and relax cuz it's been a it's been a hot minute since we've both just literally, you know, relaxed. Uh, here's the room. Um yeah, two beds, super cozy, ocean front view. Mm. You know, there's Wi-Fi standard. It's, there's no safe, there's no fridge or anything. Um, the bathroom. So the battery died, but it's, uh, yeah. So what I was saying is essentially, it's a really, it is a nice room. I don't know if there's AC. I don't think there's AC, there's just a fan. But again, this is like one of the nicer hotels that there is here in uh, Panaha Shell, or Pana for short, that's what the locals call it. So guys, it is now the next day and um, I thought I might as well go over some sort of things that I learned if you were to take the bus in Guatemala, essentially. Uh, and I'm gonna try to make it quick because there are definitely a few things. So um, big thanks to my friend Monica who supported me throughout this whole thing. Her support means a lot. So I'm only gonna speak on the bus to Panahashel or Pana as the locals call it um, because that's the only bus that we took. So when we first got there and some guy was like, Panahashel, yes, get on my bus right away and without my mom checking or asking or double confirming. I felt, I was like, oh, well, who knows if we're gonna get, end up in the right place. So double confirming that they're going to where they're saying they're going doesn't hurt. I will put like right here, like what we pay per bus, but um, I will say that we didn't get charge the gringo prices. We did get charged like what all the other locals were being charged. And I don't know if that has to do with my mom being able to speak Spanish or if that's just how they, they charge people. But regardless, we didn't get we didn't get overcharged for these buses, which I thought was nice. Uh, next, uh, each bus that we took, they were very thorough on being like, you, this is your stop, get off. And they also grabbed our bags for us as well. And I'm so surprised that our bags made it. Like when I saw us them putting the bags on top of the bus, I'm like, well, good thing I have, you know, like a Apple AirTag in one of those suitcases. So if it goes flying, at least we'll be able to find it maybe. Even though like I was whipping around corners, the those bags stayed on. So if they do want to put your bags up top, uh, plan so that you don't have anything breakable up there or basically anything that you're willing to lose don't put it in the bag that's gonna go on top of the bus. Uh, anyway, the bus fills up really, really fast, I found, and it's it's sort of like a free-for-all. It's it's where there's a seat, people are gonna sit, so being up in everybody's business, 